If you ain't getting the messages now, then you ain't following your inner guide. So now is not the time to be stopping what you've been doing. Like all of that work that you put in, that wasn't to give up now or to doubt self. So right now, if you run across this message, there's no hashtags, keep up the work. I'm here to tell you, keep up the work because no one's going to tell you to keep up what's going to benefit you and you got to keep doing it before you expect results. That is the thing. You can't just jump into something like someone sent me like, like I had a lot of clientele, a lot of clients, you know what I'm saying? I've been in the fitness industry for, for a while now, right? And people typically will give up and not progress because they don't see instant results. But you got to understand that you have to build, you have to fill that cup up. You, you can't just expect your cup to run it over if it's empty. That's why I was saying, matter of fact, a very, very, very powerful spiritual quote is from the seven spiritual laws of success. Whenever I'm going through a massive transformation, I always come across this book. I always read this book. Hold on. Let me tell y'all real quick. Yo. This book always come up. I don't know how, but it always do. And this teaches you about the laws of success. And as long as you maintain these spiritual laws, you will always become successful. So let me just read it to you really quick. The first thing is, I ain't going to read the book. Look, it's not even that big of a book. So the real quick, quick, fast, I recommend you walk, you know, get yourself a little, you know, a breath. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Go for a trail walk, go for a run, jump, whatever like that, and bring this book along with you. I ain't going to tell y'all who it's by. If you guys want to know this, check out my description box. Those who show love to this channel and support this channel, I really do appreciate you. Um, those who don't, you know, it's all good, yo, because all well, because I like to give rather than receive. All right. So the first law is the law of pure potentiality. Yeah, I said it. Potentiality. That's one of the major laws. Look it up. I'm telling you, this stuff goes deep. Second law is the law of giving and receiving. We spoke about that uh, before. In order to receive, you have to give. You have to put out something because energy can't be created nor destroyed. So in order to grasp that energy and bring that into your reality, you want to already start that. And how do you do that? You give. So that way you can attune to that energy. And then once you give, shoo, you on that radio station already. And you're going to naturally receive. I'm telling you, that's why I never care, yo. Where you are right now, it doesn't matter. You, I'm telling you, you can, you are going to surpass people that's been working on this shit for 30 years. You surpass them in 30 minutes, in 30 days. No more than 30 days. Now that you are realizing your power and now you're taking it back. You know it. And you follow these laws, I guarantee. This is how I did it every single time. But, but for some reason, I would fall off and try to overhelp people. Now is not the time to help anybody because you would literally, you will stop yourself. You will hold yourself up trying to help other people. That's why I said, if you don't know what to do now, then, hey, you should not be teaching anybody. I'm not teaching anybody this message. This is for those few people or I'm reminding myself what it is because this, this is the real stuff. All right? The next law is the law of karma or cause and effect. Who again that speaks about energy that's already in <laughs> already in transmutation, already that's already in foundation, right? Energy is already in foundation. You are transmuting that, aka metamorphosizing that energy, and you're yielding it to you. That's why someone will have to siphon your energy. I said metamorphosize because literally that's what it does. Like the uh, what's it called? Like the atom, six protons, six neutrons, six electrons, aka equals one a adds up to eighteen, and you add that up equals nine. You flip it over, six nine 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 meaning the nine ethers, meaning that's all the divinities. That's everything that's in your source code is that nine. It's not a low number. It's actually a divinity number, but we too busy listening to people outside ourselves that don't have our blood type and that don't even know our own ancestral lineage. But hey, I won't talk about that right now. <clears throat> so it shows that karma of cause and effect. What you put out must always return. So someone puts out low, 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 low energy trying to mess with your finances and mess with your stuff. Guess what? They mess with their own stuff because that energy is already in the works, especially you being well protected and well guarded. You send that energy back times 10. I'm saying all right, so that's why law of karma cause and effect really is the deal. It really matters, yo. That's that shit right there that you don't want to mess with. That's why I'm telling y'all, giving and receiving is no joke. That's giving out of love and purity. When you give out of love and purity, 
The universe overrides anything. That's like no sin. Nothing you did can affect that because you're in this moment now. You are choosing to act in purity and love. And love overrides any sinful acts. If you've been doing a lot of sinful shit, I put out some love quick. I wouldn't even try to let ego be the captain no more. I put out that love fast. And I ain't trying to tell you what to do because I ain't focused on anybody else but myself right now. That was my problem. I ain't gonna lie. I held myself up because I was too busy trying to lift other people up. I was too busy trying to put into other people's cups. I was too busy trying to overfill other people's lives and bring them up out of their despair. While lo and behold, those people was trying to tear and rip and put out death spells and try to kill me by other people because they're trying to put out spells by uh, going to get paid. But you learn things. God put you in certain, higher self put you in learning things to become stronger. So I'm glad. Just like I'm glad everything that I grew up with. I'm glad, yo. I'm glad that I was stomped and, and people were like, like bah! and people would stop me and spit on me. And bro, it was crazy, yo. People would literally, bah, bah, bah. I'm glad because... It's until you're up against nothing when you choose to either rise or die. Death becomes nothing. You don't care about something. Actually, that seems kind of sweet because then that's the only way that the pain will stop. So that's what you kind of wish for and long for a lot of nights because that's the only way to get the pain to go away. So people don't realize that they made you your greatest self. They turned you into who you were supposed to be and not who what other people tried to make you. Okay? I'm telling you, yo, it's some real shit, but I'm not trying to convince y'all. I'm just going to lay out some automated, some factual, like Kevin Samuel said, be brief, be brief, and be gone. All right? That's about it. All right. So the next law is the law of least effort. Right? Don't even try. Simplicity is a key. Simplicity is sustainable. S simplicity over overwinds and overrides everything. That's why the most simplistic shows, the most simplistic music, the most simplistic tactics, dress wear. You know what I'm saying? I don't even like too much. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I'm hot to the mud, so you know what I'm saying. But I ain't gonna lie. There is dudes watching this channel, and I would not want to watch a dude with his shirt off either. I ain't gonna lie. Like ugh, that shit. But I do know. There are, this is a strange word. We're going to just leave it at that. So anyway, the least effort is very important right now. Apply the amount, the, the most least effort that you can. All right. You do not want to try to over exude anything. You don't even need to over exert yourself. All you need to do is just actually show up. You don't even really got to do much. Show up. You don't even got to give it your best. Just believe and know in yourself. Ain't that funny? They say, give it your best over always over exude everything. No, nah, just know. Just no. That's it. Just no. All right. This next one is the law of intention and desire. <laughs> Again, that transmutes energy, which AKA is what you're here for, that creates. So you're a creator that's, you're actually operating at your natural precursor. So you're actually doing what you're supposed to do. So yeah, intention and desire and belief and knowing in it is key. They don't see, they don't give you everything. They always like to give you pieces of the puzzle. So I'm going to give you all everything right now. Intentions, desire, and knowing. Knowing. Now, don't be trying to know and put out hexes and voodoo because I send that shit mother back. Time. Back. Back. Go back to send it. If you always, if you're trying to mess with my anything, pay the pen, you know, earth, man, you know, going to get pay people, I send that back. I ain't playing with y'all, man. Niggas be trying to play games. Nigga, I don't play games unless it's Uno. Guess who? You know what I'm saying? I be getting on some uh, checkers. I be playing some, you know what I'm saying, some GameCube game. But I am not going to play with no cat in 2022, man. Nah, I send that back. All right? Next thing is the law of detachment. Let go of everything. Yo, that's the key. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Letting go is literally the key. I'm telling you, yo, letting go is the key. When you detach from everything, detach from people, detach from like old family members, detach from old people, detach from, <sighs> detach from everything, old ways of thinking, old ways structures, old, old patterns, detach that thinking a license actually is legal. No, you know what a license is? A license is to operate to be illegal. So licenses are permits to violate the only illegal act. So when you, when you go get a license, licenses are permits to do something illegal. 
Go research this. So I know you got to get out of those old patterns. That's why telling, talking to people, trying to help people now, if they ain't helped themselves, if they ain't already on a path of discovery and self-knowledge, leave them alone. Someone texts me like, hey, man, I don't know if this works. You know what? If you don't know by now, then I am, then maybe I am not the one to suggest or help you right now because honestly, it's all about bettering self, uplifting self. I tried. I did the whole helping. Why you gotta start doing these videos? I was too busy telling all the people da, 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 and I wasn't telling y'all online. Now I am. Now I am. That's what I was doing reaction videos for because I really wanted to talk to y'all about real stuff and Boy, I, do I got a lot of real stuff, but I felt like people didn't want to hear it. Now, we don't got no more time for all that. We got to just, every, you got to be legit. You got to be yourself. You got to be your authentic, true self. Now, I know, right? Now, I know. Not many people look at y'all in the eyes, do they? I'll be like, well, how are you supposed to, how am I supposed to believe something if you can't even look at the camera? I mean, come on, like. Like, I'm very hands-on. I'm, I'm kinesthetic. I don't like sitting in one spot. But damn, I can't even be like, this all damn for like 15 minutes and then expect me to just run away and be like, man, that was God sent. Hell no, nah, that was no God sent. God would not be all like, God going to tell it to you front face view. But you know, I already know. All right. I know, man. Look at me, bro. <laughs> so look. So just remember that you got to let go of them old, old constructs. That's not even real. What you've been speaking is just backwards Latin is put hurts on yourself. How you've been implementing and riding. You actually been going against yourself, your own self. Yo, it's so much to it. So just remember that now is the time to let it go. If you do not let it go now, then let it go. Especially in your dreams. If you ain't seeing more like premonitions, if you ain't getting ancestral messages, if you ain't coming to realization, getting downloads, then hey, these videos ain't for, for you. I mean, and that's okay too. Ain't nobody judging. So just cool your road a little bit. But all I'm saying is like, if you ain't already awakening to the fact, this should have happened a long time ago. That means that you need to start doing it, then you need to actually just pull your old back a little bit and do some inner self-discovery because there ain't no more time for that. Animals, the world, everything, everything knows what's up. So if a penguin get a dialogue before you, that, that, that that's sad. And I don't even want to go into you know detail about that because then that's judging and then that's making you feel like carp. But it's just important to just, you know, be aware of that. Just, oh, damn, shit. Even penguins get more messages and information than I do. Shit. You know, and that is quite okay because nobody's judging. But now it's the time to actually do that work and get back to your holy divinity. I'm telling you, all right? And this next thing is the law of dharma of purpose in life. That is very important. I don't really know what that means, but it's very important, okay? Now, these are the seven spiritual keys. Read this book. I guarantee if you I guarantee if you understand these seven spiritual keys, you're going to awaken to more higher depths. You're actually going to raise yourself up to the highest vibration now. You would not procrastinate. It will not. It will actually happen much quicker. If y'all enjoyed everything on the other side of the spectrum and y'all want to hear more of these, then y'all already know what to do already all day. Those people have been showing love. Yo, man, thank y'all so much, man. You already know, which is why these seven keys of spiritual success matters. I'm telling you, you already understand this on some degree right now. So go get this book. I recommend it because you're going to like this. I'm telling you, we waste our energy on trying to be happy when we should just be happy now in the moment. And happiness brings forth the kingdom of heaven. So you literally bring, you literally create the kingdom of heaven right now just by already being in that vibration alignment that you're really trying to bring in. So trying to be wealthy means that you're putting out a poverty mindset. You have to be wealthy and you are that wealthy mindset. You feel me? It's that mindset that manifests everything in an alignment with whatever they're putting out. So whatever outputting is what comes in. Damn. So if y'all like this message and found this and found it useful in any way already all day, show your support to this channel. But yo, I'm KT and I'm out.